everyone welcome back to another video this is code forces finally round 3 div1 plus div2 and we're gonna solve the third problem that is heavy intervals let's see what the problem states so you have n intervals here l1 r1 l2 r2 ln rn and uh, for each interval the l is always less than r and all the n points of the interval are distinct okay all are different the ith interval has weight ci per unit length therefore the weight of the ith int ith interval is ci into ri minus li what does that mean if l is 5 and r is uh, 8 and the cost for one unit is 2 what how many units are present here 8 minus 5 is 3 right so the total cost of this interval is 3 into 2 that is 6 the corresponding cost now we don't like large weights so we want to make the sum of weights of the interval as small as possible so this is one weight right similarly for l2 r2 will have one weight l3 r3 also have one weight so all the sum of all of this should be as minimum as possible and they are telling that we can rearrange the elements of l in any order rearrange elements of r in any order rearrange elements of c also in any order the cost so they will give input like this uh, l r c so they will give you can rearrange l1 else you can rearrange r's and you can rearrange c whenever you rearrange it should not be the case that suppose l2 is coming here it should not be the case that l2 is greater than r1 it should always be the case that l should always be less than r now what is the minimum possible sum of weight of the interval after performing the operation so suppose in this what do i do r minus l into c1 plus r2 minus l2 into c2 r3 minus l3 into c3 so uh, the sum of all of this c1 c2 c3 anything you can rearrange but at last the cost should be minimum let's see this with the help of an example so that it will be more clear so in this case they told l value is 83 r value is 12 23 and c value is 100 100 so what did they do they did not rearrange anything they just directly took 23 minus 8 into 100 then 12 minus 3 into 100 they got 1500 plus 900 that is 2400 they are telling this is the minimum sum that is achievable now Check this case, L value is 2125, R value is 34310 and C value is 2323. Now, what did they do? L value they rearranged to 12520, okay. R value they rearranged to 34130, okay. Maybe they might be sorting it. This they rearranged to 3322, oh, uh, L and R they sorted it, but uh, C value they made it in decreasing order. Then what did they do? 3 minus 1 into 3. 4 minus 2 into 3, 10 minus 5 into 2, and 12, 30 minus 20 into 2. So that's what they are getting. This is the minimum weight they are telling that is 42. So here, in the second case, in the example itself, they told like uh, you sort the values and uh, uh, last one should be in the decreasing order. So we need to prove it, right? We just don't know or directly cannot say it. So we'll take a small example. They told that for the cost assignment, assign a bigger cost to a shorter interval. So let's take this example like uh, uh, let's take L for n equal to 2 okay for n equal to 2 L is there R is there and C is also here. In this case I say that uh, let's say L value is 1 R value L, L2 is 2 then 3 and this is 4 C is also 1 and this is 2. So let's see what do we get to answer for this. So 1 minus 3 is what 2 into cost is 1 plus 2 minus 4 is 2 into cost is 2 what is the answer you get the answer is 6 okay now let's go for another example like um, the same example we'll try to rearrange it uh, we can rearrange r also right so what do i do we let's try to make it simple let's rearrange l so i want to make the difference as close as possible so 2 can come here right 2 and uh, 3 can come here and 1 and 4 can come here i just swapped 2 and 1 and the difference of this is 1 i am assigning a bigger weight to a smaller interval so 2 can come here and this one can go here so it makes sense right if you are putting a bigger weight to a smaller interval the, uh, there are high chances that the answer will be less so in this case let's say 2 minus 3 is what 1 3 minus 2 is 1 into 2 plus 4 minus 1 is 3 into 1 what happened 2 plus 3 the answer is 5 but here we got 6 so ultimately for n equal to 2 we are able to give a certain conclusion that uh, a minimum value can come when we are assigning higher weights to a smaller interval 
and uh, smaller weight to a higher interval. Now, how do we do this? So as you see, this is similar to the bracket matching problem, right? Like what happens, you have a bracket here and you have like, these are all brackets only, all are brackets. In question, they give you like L here and R here. These are all having some sort of uh, values, okay? If I rearrange this, I may get something like uh, two brackets. This, this I got because this might be some values, okay? These two values came here and these two values came here. This one came here and this one came here and uh, this one came here and this one came here, okay? So like these are all values. We can put like uh, this is one here, this two here, this three, four. Okay, these are all simply values. One, three also valid and two, four is also valid. So I just sorted these numbers. Still the bracket sequence is correct only. What do I do? We are doing this because to find the closest possible uh, difference because as we know the cost should be given to the interval that is having the minimum difference so if i'm able to sort all these numbers i automatically know that the difference will be minimum right the difference will be minimum. in this case if three comes here and uh, five and six comes here one two one two three can come and five and six can come obviously these numbers will definitely be greater right we are sorting these numbers Suppose uh, 6 can come, 5 can come, but we are sorting at the end, so no worries. Now, since we get this greater, we put this one here, 2, 3 values. Then you put 1, 4 values or whatever be the number comes. And here, let's say, uh, suppose a bigger number also can come here. Suppose it is 10 and this is 100. Okay, this is also 10 and this is 100. I'll sort the difference also later. After I sort the difference, I'll assign the weights. So how does this work? Let's try to find out. First, we'll, uh, in order to do this, we'll map everything to a left or right value. This represents left, this represents left. I'll explain you at the end how with the numbers, but let's understand this with brackets. This is with left, this is with left, this R, 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 R. So in a vector of pairs, if open bracket comes, I don't know it's an open bracket, I just tell that it's a number. So I say that this is left and close bracket comes this right, right. And uh, this is left, right, and this is uh, left and this is right. So how do I make sure I catch these numbers? For bracket matching, we use the data structure called as stack, right? So first, this bracket goes, then I'll see close bracket is there or not, close bracket is not there, then this bracket goes here. Now, this bracket came, so that means this bracket and this bracket is closest. So what do I do? I take out this bracket from outside and take this guy, okay? Now this will have a difference of R minus L. Some value, this is also Rx or something, this is also Lx or something, this is Rx minus Lx. I put it inside another vector. Now you see this one. What is the closest value that can form the difference? The closest difference that can form is R minus L again. So you put here and take the tool, you put this. This is also something like, let's say this is Ry and this is also Ly. So this is Ly, Ry. You put the difference to another vector. And then there'll be a difference, right? The difference can be a big A, B and sort all of this in a uh, in like increasing decreasing order then cost should be in increasing order so the bigger weight will go with the smaller cost and the smaller weight will go to the bigger cost so that's the overall idea of it let's try to understand with uh, some exact values so we have something like l values here r values here and c value can be anything let's assume c value is already sorted like c1 c2 c3 c4 what did i do i said that a1 can come, A2 can come, A3 can come. These are all, I'm just sorting it, okay. A1 comma L, this is a vector of pairs. I'm just maintaining it. Uh, so in a vector of pair, I'm telling A1, uh, I'm just taking the input. A1 as L, A2 as L, A3 as L, A4 as L, B1 as R, B2 as R, B3 as L, B4 as R. Because the number, I don't know it is left or right. So I'm just mapping it with the set of vector of pairs. Now, you go for the next number. If you sort these numbers, the sort the upper values, what happens? A1, A2, B1, maybe it can be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, anything can come, right? So like that. So 2 and 3 is there, 1 and 4 is there. Now, uh, this is uh, A1 is here, B1 is here. So uh, A2, A2 is here and B2 is here. A3 is here, B3 is here, something like that. So in the case of stack, what happens? I'll put A1 here. Only for L values, I'll put the stack because I need to map the closest value. 
now i am not getting r1 so i put a2 also here now i got b1 b1 is having a value of 3 so what do i do b1 minus a2 i take the top element and pop it out now a3 came you put a3 and b2 also came for b2 i map it with the topest value because that is gives me the closest difference so you give a3 these are all some difference okay a4 came now here b3 came so it will be b3 minus a4 now b4 came uh, b4 minus a1 so this also gets popped up now all these will have some values right this is uh, x1 this is x2 and this is x3 and this is x4 if you sort it it may happen that x3 can come first x4 can come first x2 can come first x1 can come first based on the difference so uh, the difference is x3 is so large x4 is less the difference of x2 is less and x1 is less and i am uh, putting the cost in the increasing order that is the cost of this is something like uh, it should be in the increasing order right so cost of this is only like small because for the bigger value it will be smaller then again it will be bigger it will be bigger and it will be so big so if you use this the value will be so minimum now that's what we did so what did i do we have the interval one interval one uh, b comma l that means a1 comma l a2 comma l a3 comma l a4 comma l now b comma r i mapped all of them and put it inside a vector of pairs now i am inserting the weights here inserting the weight is simple right as i told earlier you are just putting the weights you sort the interval once you sort the interval all the top layer will be sorted okay now i need to find the closest difference what do i do i uh, travel across all the intervals that is this and whenever I get a left value, that is interval of i dot second is equal to equal to uh, one second. So this is equal to equal to L means I am inserting that to the stack. Now, if I am, if it's a, a L value, I'll put the value inside the stack. If it is an R value, that is it is not L, it is an R value. I take the topmost element of it and subtract it to find the minimum difference and i pop that element i keep on doing it until i find all the differences there will be always a match that will happen so we proved it in the square bracket example and we are sorting it based on the descending order we sorted x1 x2 we sorted in descending order and we sorted the cost in ascending order what do we do weight into difference of i so this circle into this arrow you just these are all values okay i just uh, illustrated it this into this this into this you just have to do like you just have to add all of this so that the value will be uh, as minimum as possible so when did we do it uh, we understood that from the example itself they told that they are uh, keeping l and r in the increasing order uh, cost in the decreasing order so we don't know whether l, what is the purpose they did l and r in increasing order but cost we understood that if the interval is minimum and the cost is maximum interval is maximum cost is minimum uh, the value that we get is as minimum as possible so we did like that two three uh, if we swapped it the value is as minimum as possible and the cost we increased it so we proved that the value is greater now what did we do we took a bracket example and uh, we tried to find out for a matching bracket uh, the difference is as minimum so if the difference is as minimum we'll assign a bigger cost here and same thing for uh, all of the things you just try out and uh, for this one how do we implement it we kept everything in one vector of pairs then sorted it then whoever is coming you append all the else then whenever a b comes we assume that it's a closed bracket we take that topmost a value so that the difference between b and a is minimum then keep all the differences in a, uh, just sort it based on the decreasing order then sort the cost in based on increasing order then afterwards you just have to multiply each of them so uh, this is the code so if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments that's it guys see you in the next video and editorial is also published i highly recommend you to uh, go through that so that more proofs are given in the editorial so if you like the video don't forget to comment down and also if you want to learn you if you want you to be happy me to be happy and youtube to be happy click the red button thank you